let's go over the surface area of a cylinder and apply it to a scenario. So here's our cylinder. It has a distance across of 10 centimeters. So that's across the circle. That would be the diameter of the circle. We've got a height of seven. Now, when we consider the surface area, it's a good idea to think about the net that you would need to make up this cylinder. Now, let's just start off with the circles of our net. They have a radius of five because that would be half of the diameter. The height of the rectangle would be seven centimeters because that would match the height of the cylinder. The length of the rectangle needs to match the distance around the circle, which is why it's pi times the diameter of the circle. The area of each circle is pi times radius squared, so we'd have two lots of those. And the area of the rectangle would be the distance across of so pi times the diameter times the height of the rectangle. So in general, if you want to find the total surface area, it'd be two lots of the areas of the circle. That's where the two pi r squared comes from because a cylinder will have a circle at the top and a circle at the bottom. And then you'd be 2 pi r h because 2 r is the diameter times the height times pi. So this is what we've done when we found the area of the rectangle in the middle. So um, if we were to apply it to our situation here, we've got two lots of pi times radius squared. So 2 times pi times 5 squared. That's where this first term has come from. Plus uh, this second part. So 2 times pi times 5, remember 2 times 5 is just the diameter, times 7, so this second term here is the area of the rectangle, and when we add it all up, the total surface area of that cylinder is 377 centimetres squared. Let's do some application. So let's consider a cake. Now our cake is made of three tiers, all three cylindrical and how much icing is needed to go on the outside of the cake in uh, surface area in centimeters squared so let's just break this down into bits so the first cylinder has a total surface area of what we've just worked out so it'll be 2 pi 5 squared for the two circles at the top and the bottom add the rectangle which was wrapped around the outside now in a moment after we've worked out the total surface area of the whole cake, we're going to just bear in mind that we don't need to ice the bits in between the tiers, and we don't need to ice the bit at the bottom. So we'll take that into account at the end. So the total surface area of the top would be these two first terms, and then if we work our way down, we've got 7.5 from uh, half of 15 so this second line here is the yellow tier and the third line here if you look here uh, 10 is half of 20 and that would be the third line would be the bottom tier if you were to work that all out you'd find the total surface area before you take away any bits in between or the bottom would be 2128 centimeters squared surface area not being iced so now we're going to consider the bits that we can't see. So if we look at the top tier, um, the, we know the area of one of those circles is 2 times 5 squared. Well, we'd need to take away one from the top tier and the bit that's being covered on the tier in the middle. So it'd be 2 lots of pi 5 squared. The same happens between the middle tier and the bottom tier. So we'd have 2 lots of pi times 7.5 squared. Uh, that needs to be uh, subtracted in a moment and for the very bottom which also doesn't need to be uh, iced that would be 10 lots of uh, 10 squared times pi so if we're looking for the surface area being iced it'd be the total surface area of the whole lot take away what we can't see so 
2,128, take away 825 means we've got 1,303 centimetres squared of icing being used around the outside of the cake. Let's think about this question in a slightly different way. So uh, what you'd notice is some of these terms, which we're going to be taking away anyway, are the same. So we've got two lots of pi 5 squared. So another way of doing exactly the same question is to cancel what is the same, what is going to be subtracted. So these are the same. These cancel. And if you look here, you've got two lots of pi times 10 squared. Uh, well, I'm going to take one of those away. So if I was to add these four remaining terms together, you'd end up with the same answer.